Today we continue our tour of the Norwegian Encore, here with Travelin' Joe. This is Traveling Joe, and welcome back to part two of our tour of the Norwegian Encore. If you're enjoying the videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. In part one of our tour, we looked at decks 9 through 20. Today, we'll be looking at decks 5 through 8. So, let's get started. Starting on deck 8 forward, on the starboard side, we have Food Republic. Food Republic is a specialty restaurant and primarily serves Asian cuisine. But they also serve a fusion of foods from around the world. You'll find Japanese, Mexican, and Thai food along with others. There's also a sushi counter with a specialty cocktail menu. Pricing is a la carte and the restaurant opens at 5.30 p.m. At Decade Forward on the port side you'll find the District Brew House. If you love beer, then the District Brew House is definitely the place for you. Here you'll find more than 50 different bottled beers and 22 different draft beers, plus handcrafted specialty cocktails. You can pull up a seat at the bar or grab a seat at one of the many tables. There are also several sofas where you can sit and enjoy your drink. With floor-to-ceiling windows, you'll have a spectacular view of the ocean. The District Brew House usually opens around noon on sea days, and on port days it opens around 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Next up is the Cavern Club. This is a replica of the Liverpool Club, and is the site for the ship's Beatles tribute band. The shows feature either early or late Beatles, and sometimes they perform at the theater. Just behind the Cavern Club is the Cavern Club Outdoor Bar. This is one of many venues that is located on the waterfront. The waterfront is exclusive to Norwegian cruise lines. Here you'll find a variety of comfortable chairs and loungers as well as bars and specialty restaurants. This is the perfect place to go for a walk or just relax and enjoy the view. Next up is Anda by Scarpetta. Anda, which means wave in Italian, is the sister restaurant to the acclaimed Scarpetta, which is a high-end Italian restaurant. Here you can enjoy a bottle of wine and have a modern Italian culinary experience. Signature pastas include Scarpetta's famous spaghetti, tomato, and basil. There's additional seating outside on the waterfront, located on the port side. The restaurant opens at 5.30 p.m. and the price is a la carte. Right next to Anda is the Cellars Wine Bar. This is a Michael Mandabi family wine bar. Here you'll find a vast selection of wines from all around the world. There are several different classes held at the cellars, including wine and cheese pairing, wine tasting, and wine and chocolate pairings. Just across from the cellars is the Maltings Whiskey Bar. The Maltings Whiskey Bar is a very popular spot on the ship. The bar has plenty of couches and chairs. The bar serves a wide variety of international spirits. They specialize in whiskeys, scotches, and bourbons. There's also a standard bar menu for non-whiskey drinkers. Here you also find the Humidor Cigar Lounge. The lounge is a sealed room and offers a selection of fine cigars. Moving to midship, we have the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar. The 
bar opens at noon on CDs and about 3 or 4 in the afternoon on non-CDs. It's Latin themed, has a dance floor, and has nightly entertainment as well. Next we have Ocean Blue, which is the ship's premier seafood restaurant. This is an upscale restaurant and is dedicated to sourcing the freshest seafood and highest quality ingredients available. Specialty items include the seafood linguine, the fisherman's platter, and the cold water lobster. Like the other specialty restaurants on Deck 8, there is seating outside on the waterfront. Make sure you make your reservations early. This is a very popular spot on the ship. The restaurant opens at 5.30 p.m. and the pricing is a la carte. Heading toward the aft of the ship, we come across the photo gallery. Among the items you'll find here are cameras, phone accessories, binoculars, professional portraits, photo books, and more. Deck 8 is home to all the ship's retail outlets, including trade winds, tax, and duty free. Make sure to check your Freestyle Daily Planner, as many of these outlets offer deep discounts, especially as the cruise moves on. You'll find a large selection of jewelry, watches, fragrances, beauty, and spirits. There's also a selection of Encore logo merchandise, including shirts, caps, water bottles, and more. You'll also find several other outlets, including the Time Zone, the Jewel Box, and the Beauty Shop. The Time Zone is one of the most luxurious retail spaces on the ship. And the Jewel Box offers designs and fine jewelry from all the top names. At the Beauty Shop, you'll find a selection of fragrances from Armani, Dior, and others. The Sandbar offers tax and duty-free savings every day. Here you'll find jewelry, sunglasses from Gucci and Ray-Ban, apparel, handbags, as well as spirits. Next is Dolce, located on the waterfront. Dolce serves up gelato and fine baked goods. And finally, at the rear of the ship, you'll find two more specialty restaurants, Cagney Steakhouse and Las Lobos Mexican Restaurant. Las Lobos is a premier Mexican restaurant which serves traditional flavors with a modern twist. Specialties include Los Tacos, Enchiladas, and Carne Asada Steak. Los Lobos also offers outdoor seating on the waterfront. The restaurant opens at 5.30 p.m. and pricing is a la carte. Cagney's is Norwegian's signature steakhouse. It's an elegant room that serves a selection of steakhouse staples including beef, chops, and seafood. While I was there, I had the New York strip with a rotten potatoes and it was delicious. And Cagney's also offers outdoor dining at the waterfront. The restaurant opens at 5.30 p.m. and pricing is a la carte. Lastly, there's the A-List Bar, which is located between Cagney's and Las Lobos. This is the perfect place to get a pre- or post-dinner drink. Moving down to Deck 7, at the front of the ship is the Encore Theatre. Currently, there are two terrific shows playing here at the Encore Theatre. The hit Broadway musical Kinky Boots with music by Cindy Lauper and London's West End hit Choir of Man. Both shows are outstanding, and if you get there early for Choir of Man, you may be invited on stage to have a beer on their pub set. There are also other shows like the Beatles Tribute Band, as well as Comedy, Juggling, and many others. Norwegian is noted for their entertainment venues, and you won't be let down. Next is the local Bar & Grill. 
This is a complimentary venue and is open 24 hours a day. The restaurant features pub style food like chicken wings, fish and chips, and hamburgers. There are bar seats that wrap around the atrium where you can watch people down below. This is an extremely popular venue on the ship and can get quite crowded, especially during the evening hours. This is also a great spot to watch all the events that happen at the atrium down below. The local also features a bar where you can have a drink and watch some sports. Just off to the side of the local is one of the two video arcades on the ship. The arcade features a pool table as well as basketball and other arcade games. Please note that there is a charge to play these games. The other arcade, which is located on Deck 5, is the larger of the two. This arcade never seems to get crowded. Moving on to midship, we come to the Encore Casino. Here you'll find a large selection of slot machines. There are also table games, including roulette, blackjack, poker, and craps. In addition, various tournaments are held throughout your cruise. The Skyline Bar inside the casino offers bar top poker games. There are several TV screens and this is a great place to catch up on sports. And finally at the rear of Deck 7 is the Manhattan the Manhattan Room is the largest of the three main dining rooms on the Encore. The room has a modern decor and features views of the rear of the ship. With Norwegian's freestyle dining, there are no set dining times. There's also no assigned seating like most other cruise ships. The Manhattan Room opens for dinner at 5 p.m. and is complimentary. Moving down to Deck 6 forward, we find Q Texas Smokehouse. This barbecue restaurant offers all of your favorites like short ribs, chicken, spare ribs, brisket, and more. There's also a country music band that plays during the evening. Prices are a la carte. Next we come to the atrium, which is the main hub of the ship. The atrium features a giant screen and has plenty of tables, chairs, and sofas. There are numerous activities throughout the day, including deal or no deal. There's also morning and afternoon trivia, numerous lectures, and how-to seminars. This is another very popular area to ship, but there is plenty of seating. And during the afternoon and evening, you'll find entertainment. The atrium features a full service bar and there's plenty of servers to take your drinks to the table. You'll also find a Starbucks to get your morning coffee, but be advised this is not complimentary, there is a charge. Surrounding the atrium you'll find services that are offered by the ship. They include shore excursions, onboard credit, and most importantly guest services. There's also a cruise next booth where you can start planning your next cruise. The internet cafe has computers where you can go online. They will also answer all of your Wi-Fi questions. Buy the Wi-Fi early and you can save a couple dollars. The Perspective Studio offers professional photographers and they will make a beautiful portrait of your trip. And finally, behind the atrium, you'll find some meeting rooms and a card room. At midship, you'll find a beautiful, colorful, three-story chandelier. There are two elegant staircases that take you from Deck 6 to Deck 8. 
And right at the center, you'll find The Social. The Social offers two nightly comedy shows, one at 7 p.m. and the other at 9 p.m. The 9 p.m. show is for adults only. The area is also used as a nightclub and features nightly DJ music. There's also special events like late night clubbing and silent disco. The space is also used for art auctions. Just across from the social is Coco's. This ice cream shop offers a wide variety of treats, including ice cream and gelato. You'll find a variety of cakes, chocolates, crepes, and other goodies. This is a specialty venue and is not complimentary. Prices are a la carte. Be sure to check out the chocolate fountain, which features white, milk, and dark chocolate. Teppanyaki is a Japanese hibachi style restaurant. This is another specialty restaurant. I wasn't able to gain access, but I can tell you that there's a fixed price of $49 per person. Moving along to the rear of the ship, we come across the art gallery. Here you'll find artwork from famous artists like Thomas Kincaid, Peter Max, and others. There are art auctions several times during the cruise where you can bid on artwork. Invitations for the art auction are normally left in your stateroom. I've never participated in one, but if you have, drop me a line in the comment section. And finally, at the rear of the ship, we come down to our last two dining rooms. Taste is complimentary and offers dinner starting at 5.30. In addition, breakfast is also served daily. This is a good alternative to the Manhattan room if you prefer a smaller restaurant. And my recommendation is the Shrimp Fettuccine Alfredo. Just across from Taste is Savor, which is also complimentary. Savor is nearly identical to Taste in its size and decor. And both dinner and breakfast are served here. The menus at Savor, Taste, and the Manhattan Room upstairs are all identical. One of my favorites was the three cheese baked ziti. It was yummy. And right between Savor and Taste, you'll find the Mix Bar. Just like the A-list bar upstairs, this is the perfect place to grab a drink before or after dinner. And finally, we move down to Deck 5. There are only a few public areas on Deck 5, and they're dedicated to kids and teenagers. Here you'll find the ship's main arcade, which is much larger than the arcade on Deck 7. This space is definitely geared toward a younger crowd. There's car racing, pinball, halo, and more. Entourage is a teen club that offers movies, videos, and dancing. And finally we come to Splash Academy. Splash Academy offers numerous activities including sports competitions, adventure themes, and parties. There's plenty of fun to be had for kids ages 3 to 12 years old. And that's just about going to do it for our tour of the Norwegian Encore. I hope you enjoyed our two-part video, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. As we sail off into the sunset, this is Traveling Joe saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.